day four, printing reality check. For today, before I keep cleaning deeper and deeper towards getting this thing like ultra clean and shiny, I just want to make sure that what things do I need to to buy, like what supplies do I need in order to put this thing to print. So I want to run a printing test to see if the cartridge that I have is okay, like what type of tubing do I need to buy and cleaning and, and put that order in place so we can get them as soon as possible to keep going. Let's take a look at how the whole binder thing works. This is the main binder bottle or reservoir. It's pretty big. I honestly I don't have yet a sense of how many binders do I need per print, but I think it's quite a lot. Fancy thing is these uh, quick connectors that allow you to move these and uh, let me see if one... Yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, the binder is connected directly to this uh, filter. First I thought that this whole thing should have like a pump in order to pump the binder from the bottle to the print head, but it seems there's none, which is interesting. I don't know if it's gravity fed or the print head actually sucks the, the binder. So anyway, tubing from the bottle to the filter, then another tubing that goes to the cable chain to the fast axis gantry. From the other side we have a quick feed connector that enables to plug and unplug the fast axis uh, binder tubing. I still have to look more into that. And then the, the tubing goes from the, from the fast axis connector to the inlet of the, of the cartridge. This thing uses HP 10 old model version cartridges. You can actually remove. It is what it is and it's how it looks. That's pretty much it for the binder feeding system. Just for the sake of it, I'm gonna run some purging cycles using a syringe. For that, we're gonna use some good distillated water. And of course, it's Sunday. We're gonna spice it up with some vodka. Distillated water. And just because life is too short. Some vodka. Cheers. Okay, let's now try to purge. What? Okay. I think there is some issues here. Let's try to see if just my... Okay, obviously <laughs> the problem is not in this tube. Well, the fun thing about this is this looks like it's gonna end up with a big explosion. Let me try the other way around now. Yeah! We got the crab out. Well, at least some of it. So I guess I'm gonna be perching for a little bit. There's no doubt I need to change the tubings. Great, so the tubing from the filter to the print head, it's clean. Let's uh, reconnect the binder bottle again and try to see if the flow is okay. Wow. Just a closer look, this is the end of the tubing and this is the inlet that connects to the, to the, print, to the print head. So I uh, try to reconnect this. This one in, and we are in. I have little hope that the cartridge that was in the printer still works, but let's give it a shot. We open the housing and place. We lock it in place, and cartridge is in. It's taking a break. Tubes have been perched, kind of cleaned, so try to give it a shy run. Let's turn the printer on. I still have little to no idea on how to run this thing, but 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 I want to try a stripe test.
obviously nothing happened. I'm gonna try a few more times. Uh -oh. First error. Excessive position error. That's actually kind of cool because I can see when was the last time that somebody used this thing. And that was like two years ago. Without thinking much, I've decided to start a dry run just to see if actually this thing prints or not. It was pretty easy to use, but I'm surprised. There we go. It's kind of moving or something. I do really love the fact that it has this clear window. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I just wanted to see if it's actually printing anything, like if it's having any liquid, but I, so far I think there's not. But it's cool to see how it moves, right? And especially like the roller, how the pistons go up and down. That's pretty cool. I love this clear window. Jesus, so beautiful. That's it for today. Tomorrow, sourcing day. Yeah.